It's Cartridge Game Geeks here. That is Justin. Mm hmm. That is Trance. And we're back with another review and another season, if you tell from the sea of black behind us. <laughs> what are we going to be reviewing today, Sir Trance? Today we are going to be doing Alex Kidd in Miracle World. Came out in 1986 in Japan and rolled out to the rest of the world in 1987, and this is a game that everybody owned. And no, I'm not kidding. You know why? It was built into the console. Well, at least the Master System 2s that were rolled out uh, around the world. And, and, was that? and late Master System 1s. Late Master System 1s? Yep. It oh. took over Safari Hunt and something else, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it was a very worthy uh, title to be built into the console and left a really good impression. I think so too. You know, it's got really good graphics. Um, it's, it's got cool music. Really cool music. You know, and Alex himself, you know, a perfect little character. And I guess that's why Sega, you know, took him on as their mascot. As their little poster child until, until well, the 1990s. <laughs> then Sonic came along and changed all that. He rolled him over and uh, left him for dead. But... Let's let the gameplay do the talking. What do you reckon? I reckon that's good. All right, let's go. <laughs> All the comic book panels. It's a pretty cool idea what they had, especially yeah. with, like the map. <laughs> look, the... look at him just eating a cheeseburger. Like, um, um, <laughs> um. So it's making me hungry, dude. You got the cool, you know, the mountains. I think they did pretty cool with they, the graphics. It looked really detailed. It was it, you wouldn't see you wouldn't have seen anything like this on the NES at the time. I don't think. Oh no! It's, and you know, for a game that they've built into the system, you know, you got to commend them. Pretty da it. pretty damn good. I think it's something they should have done more often with uh, with gaming systems. Oh hell yeah! Because like, I I've never heard of it happening aside from uh, aside from the Master System. And I think that's a good part, you know. Sega made the game, so they they had the licensing. They didn't have to pay anyone else to put it in the system. Yeah, which is cool. Uh, well, it was sort sort of like, uh, did you ever? You, did, yeah, did you ever play Tekken on the PlayStation? Yep. Yeah, when you booted it up, it played Galaga, which was also made by uh, Namco, which is the same guys that made Tekken. A little bit of a tidbit for you. No. But uh, yeah, you. It was it was basically. Blah, if I could talk. You play it like a basic uh, side scroll platformer sort of game. You pick up stuff, you beat stuff up. Well, it's like, you know, the story behind it, this game is a bit silly, you know. You're on the planet Ares, the king's been kidnapped. Oh, well, the king's gone missing. Oh, what? where have I heard this before? And now the prince has gone missing. So, you know, some villagers told you to go and save save them and you find out that along the way that it's your brother who's the prince and you've got to yeah. save them. Yeah. The good thing about this game is that when you pick up all these money bags they actually help you when you get to the beginning of uh, the beginning of a lot of stages where you find shops and buy all the uh, all the stuff that you'd need to get around, like helicopters, bicycles, weapons, yeah, and uh, power ups for yourself. But uh, all the uh, all the uh, scissor paper rock stuff that all comes down to memorizing a pattern. That's it. They're all in patterns. So as long as you you know, if you've played the game through once and you know what pattern they use, you you're spot on. You know, you're fine to. To, you know, continue through. Well, that was the gameplay for Alex Kidd in Miracle World. It was a very good game, really cool, it played really well, but god damn did it get hard. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, um, another annoying little thing's the, uh, you know, scissors, paper, rock, but you know, it's also a pretty cool thing. Donkey! <laughs> so that was a reference to uh, Alice Kidd in Charter, in Charter Castle. It was the only one on the Mega Drive, but that's for another review. But uh, 
Do you reckon it was a very worthy start to a whole series of how many? Was it six? I think it's six. And yeah. Alex himself went on to be in, you know, different games as such. You know, you got BMX Trail and... Yeah, know. there was Alex Kidd in um, Shinobi World too. Yeah. That's one of my favourites too, because uh, not only was it high and groovy, but in the beta stage it had a, 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 a boss called Mari O. I'm not kidding. <laughs> but then they had to change it to some generic uh, generic Chinese guy. But, you know, I think if the Seeger had taken off as well as it did in Australia and Europe, I think it would have blown past the NES. It, it would have, it would have le at least level pegged with the NES because yeah, it, it, it had a lot of, it had a lot of uh, potential to be a very good console. And we've had it in a couple of our uh, comments on our videos that we've done on the bus system. They're like, why didn't it take off in the US? And that's one that we're still trying to answer. Yeah, whether the hardware wasn't quite as good or, you know, we don't know. But it was definitely a superior machine here. Yeah, it's we're definitely a Sega country here in Australia. Yeah. At least until the Dreamcast came along then. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, well, it's not going downhill with a Sega CD, but, you know, I think they were just trying to utilise the technology that they yeah, had. Yeah, yeah. But then the PlayStation came along, but that's that's neither here nor there. And we're off. All right, we're off. To we're off topic. <laughs> off topic. Again. We're off topic again. But hey, we like we like to talk a lot. But we'll have to do a bit wars. Episode. Oh dear, yeah, that's a that's a good idea. We'll have to mull that around. But back to our actual topic, as Kid Miracle World. What number do you give it, sir? I reckon it's worthy of an eight, high eight for me. High eight. Well, I'll agree with you on the eights. How about that? Yep. All right, cool. So that's uh, eight for Alice Kid Miracle World because of not only did it play really well, it looked really cool, it sounded really cool, but it had a difficulty curve to keep you in there, especially when you get to the forest. Ah, it's you know, it's sort of like Mario for the NES. You know, it's just a classic game for that machine. Yeah, it's so like when you when you think of Master System, you think Alex Kid off the bat, unless you're brought up later with Sonic, but yeah, like even I, then, you know, Alex was always there, you know. Yeah, yeah. Mainly because he was built into the body console. <laughs> Put your cartridge for another game in and, yeah. holy shit, Alex Kid Miracle World would pop up and you'd be like, oh, the game doesn't work. Oh, uh, i got to clean the cartridge. <laughs> oh, well, at least it was a worthy indicator instead of a black screen. <laughs> anyway, what do you reckon? Close that's it out? That's it. Right. We've been the Cartridge Game Geeks. Uh -huh. That is Justin. Mm -hmm. That is Trent. Thanks a lot for sitting through our review. If you give it a like, we'd love you. If you give it a favourite, that'd be even better. And if you subscribe to us and stalk us, we'll give you new episodes every Thursday. We promise that. From now on. Yes, sir. Well, that'll close us out. Let's do it. Thanks a lot, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye. Peace out. Um, just letting you know that our episodes will no longer be released once a week like they have been for the last 10. Um, finding filming and editing time for me and Justin both to get here and do it is being a bit of a, uh, a hassle with our schedule and that. So we're going to cut back on our filming and that. So we're not going to be releasing episodes once a week anymore. But once every couple of weeks or, you know, when we find the time, sees around.